Today's video is sponsored by Stereo. Hi guys, welcome back. Something really exciting happened this week. Thanks to you guys, our channel surpassed the 200,000 subscriber mark. It has been a crazy almost 10 months that we've been out here in Idaho now. And in that time, our family has experienced and gone through so much. You guys have been there every step of the way with your love and support and our family greatly appreciates it. We do. So probably the coolest part about this entire journey is getting to know you guys. And we're always looking for new ways to interact and be able to talk to you. Recently, Melissa and I discovered a brand new free app that allows us to have direct interaction with you guys called Stereo. So if you head on over to Stereo, you get to create your free account and then you create a little avatar that looks like you. Mine's awesome. He's extra tall and has a beautiful lush beard. Mine has no makeup in a baseball hat. <laughs> Once you create your avatar, you can go on and start exploring different subjects from sports to comedy, family, religion, you name it. So the coolest part for us is that when you comment, we actually have an audible comment from you guys instead of just something that's written up. Yeah, it's nice to actually hear your voices rather than simply reading a text message. Melissa and I just completed our first live in the Stereo app. We had a lot of fun doing it. If you happen to miss that live stream and you want to go in and check it out, log into Stereo and you can find it under our account. We will actually be going live again tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Stereo app. So definitely come over and join us. And if you can't make it, we'll be going live again on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. To find us on Stereo, go to Stereo.com slash MrGSL or Stereo.com slash MrsGSL. Hit that follow button and you can get notifications for when we go live. All right, guys, Melissa and I are really excited. Hopefully we catch you live tonight over on Stereo. But for now, we need to go back to work on our chicken coop build. We can do that little thing. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good tool. As mentioned, we are continuing on with our chicken coop build. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this one? <laughs> and Jeremy's still in muscle relaxers. <laughs> As mentioned, we are back here today outside working on our chicken coop. We're trying to get things squared away so that we can get our laying ladies back as soon as possible. What do you know about laying ladies? All right, let's talk roofing material here for a second. We already have most of our rafters set up. We'll get that finished off later today. We'll add some bracing. On top of that, we're gonna be using these clear kind of plastic uh, corrugated panels. Yeah, the clear actually just lets in a lot more sunlight than a solid roof panel and it will extend their laying season. More light exposure means more eggs. Right. Jeremy is going to cut the last two rafters and then we're going to be adding some bracing in between all of our rafters and then we'll start securing the roof panels from there. We use the magic trailer a lot. It just seems like this thing has always got all kinds of little projects for us every time we open the door. But look what we discovered this morning. She's got a flat. So our gravel driveway has caused a few flats since moving out here. It's just, you know, you go over a a pointy rock or something and it pops the tire so we'll have to deal with that but for now we're going to keep working on the chicken coop let's go attach these things Amazing, we even need ladders, really, when you think about it. I know. We're so tall. Before we get too into this build, we want to talk about it's become our snack belt choice of the day since Jeremy keeps stealing them. We got these chocolates from a New Zealand subscriber. And I think it's really fun because we do have a similar kind of chocolate here, but they have different kinds like the Hokey Pokey or Tweets. Tweets are my personal favorite. It's basically chocolate with Pop Rocks in it. I've got the Hokey Pokey. Let's see what that's all about. The package literally says milk chocolate with Hokey Pokey pieces. <laughs> what are they? What is the Hokey Pokey? Oh yeah, it's like nougat. 
It tastes like Nestle Crunch. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I have really loud crackling in my head. I'm gonna get the new rafters that we just put up stained and weather treated. Jeremy is securing the last piece of bracing on the rafters and then we are going to be moving on to our clear corrugated roofing. We're having a bit of an issue over here. What's going on? They stuck these stickers on that do not come off. They come off in tiny little strips. So I've literally been doing this for seven and a half hours. I'm always exaggerating you. Okay, it's been like five minutes, but still, this is sticker one. Yes, I know about Goo Gone and all those other products. I unfortunately do not have any of those on hand and we are not stopping for the day because of a couple of stickers. Get all those stickers off? Sort of. I'm hoping the weather kind of dissolves the rest of the glue, but... All right, I start getting these panels off. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days it feels like madness. What would I do without you? When colors turn to shades of gray With the weight of the world at the end of the day What would I do without you? A decade goes by without a warning And there's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and the worry A peace of mind always takes me by surprise I feel like I'm walking with eyes as blind as a man without a lantern in a coal mine what would I do without you my imagination gets the best of me and I'm trying to hide lost at sea what would I do without you? The difference between what I've said and done And you're still standing by my side A guilty soul and a worried mind I will never make it if I'm on my own Okay guys, here we go. We got all of our clear corrugated panels set and secured up on our roof. I really like the way it looks. It's very unique in appearance. What do you think? I love it. I think it's really cool. But there is one thing we did want to mention. If you were thinking about doing a clear roof over the top of your chicken coop, uh, you do need to think about the summertime and the fact that the sun is going to make that very hot. So you're going to want to add some kind of a shade shelter of some kind over the coop area so they can get out of the sunlight. Yeah, so we'll do that and we'll make adjustments when we have to. But hopefully with using these clear panels, it'll maximize the amount of sunshine that we get in the winter. We have very short days up here yep. and hopefully that will keep us in chicken eggs. Yep, sounds good to me. It's day two, it is much colder, it is much windier. We're gonna try to get this floor put in. Hold it, hold it, hold it so I can pump these screws in it. 
can put these screws in it. Holding it, holding it, holding it. You are doing such a good, you are doing such a good job. Get in there. For the floor here in our chicken coop, we are actually going with another welded wire product. This is some cage wiring. And the reason we are going with this is because we know from previous experience that if you have a more traditional solid floor in your coop, you get stuck with having to clean it out periodically, which is fine. But with what we have here, what we're using here, we're gonna be loading this thing up with hay. It'll keep all of our chickens insulated. And then over time, as all of that hay and waste breaks down, it'll fall through and we'll end up with some pretty nice bedding down below. With our wire mesh floor installed, we're going to move on, do some additional framing and bracing on our coop so that we can get our paneling up. Ready to get back to work there, Bernie? Jeremy's always making fun of my mittens. Okay, now that we got the coop section all framed out with an exception of where the nest boxes are going to be, we are going to start cutting the siding and getting that slapped on the coop. making our 148th trip back and forth because our saw is back there but our chicken coop is up here so it's good practice for our trek to get eggs every day I suppose but what we're doing now is we're going to be fitting the side panel on and this panel is going to have a little window so we're going to figure out once we get it fitted where we want our window then we'll be walking back for our 756 trip back there to cut out the little window As Jerry works on getting the window hole cut out, I'm gonna work on getting the cage wire for the window cut out. Instead of using a traditional window, we're just gonna be using wire, and then we will have a hinge cover that we can actually close in case we don't want air flowing through there.
Right, let's take it back. Whoa. Look like Hannibal Lecter. Wait for me, Clarice. Wait for me. We've got three or four walls up on the chicken coop before we get that fourth and final wall set into place. However, we want to find some twigs or some branches that we have laying around here on the property. We have no shortage of branches that are down on the ground to go through. So with those down branches, we're hoping to find three 33 inch sections that we can utilize and get secured in the coop as roosts for the chickens. Okay, let's see what we can find. How about this one? Too skinny. How about this one? Too short. How about this one? Looks rotten. What about this one? Too crooked. What's wrong with crooked? Why don't we just use the trees back in the barn? Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Got our three roosts. Let's go get them installed. solid this time. Yeah, they don't spin this. <laughs> they won't spin the chickens off. It'll be good. Yeah. Well, do you want to put the front wall on the seat? No. It's getting too late. It's too dark. Let's grab dinner. Okay. It is so exciting to see this much needed project taking shape. We appreciate each and every one of you for coming along with us on this crazy journey of building our new life out here. We have only just begun.